Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R650 server. In this video, we're going to show you how to update your BIOS. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R650 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in now. This video will be specifically dedicated to how to update your BIOS. If you've stumbled along this video, we're doing a whole series dedicated to the R650, and I actually recommend a video that's coming up right after this, which is called Mass Updates, which is not only going to update your BIOS, it's going to update your firmware, your onboard diagnostics, plus all the various components of your R650. But if you're in a pinch and you don't have an OS, this is a great way on just how to update the BIOS on your R650. So what you're going to need is a USB. And what we're going to do this video as a, as a whole is we're going to show you how to create a bootable USB. And then we're going to show you step by step instructions on how to download the EFI file and install it in install it into your R650 to get an up to date BIOS. Let's hop in. All right, so what we're going to do now is show you how to update the BIOS step by step instructions for your 15th gen server. So the way we're going to do it is if you do not have an operating system, this is just a quick and easy way to update your BIOS, assuming that you don't have a hard drive or maybe you don't have a network connection. This will only require a USB thumb drive and a computer that does have internet access. All right, so now we're going to download the BIOS EFI file. So in order to do this, we are going to head over to dell.com and we're going to hover over the support tab and click support home from the drop down menu. Now we're going to scroll down to identify your product or search support. Type in the model of your server and select the one with power edge in front. Now we're going to head over to the drivers and downloads tab. Under the drop down for operating system, we are going to select not applicable. Under the drop down for category, we're going to select BIOS. The download button for the BIOS update will be for an EXE file, which is only going to run in Windows. What we want is an EFI file, so what we need to do is click the drop down arrow that's to the right of the download button. Then we're going to navigate to other formats and download the EFI file. So locate the EFI file that we just downloaded and simply move it over to the USB. You can just drag it over and that's all you have to do. All right, now that we have our EFI file downloaded onto our USB, we just need to pop the USB into our 15 gen server and boot your server back up. During the post, we want to hit F11 and enter the boot manager. Select system utilities in the boot manager. Select BIOS Update File Explorer in System Utilities. Select the USB drive in the BIOS Update File Explorer. Now you're going to actually see the EFI file. You're going to want to select the EFI file to start the BIOS update. So this is temporarily going to check the BIOS image. This may take a few minutes to do, so we like to fast forward through this part of the video not to waste anyone's time. But what will pop up is the next screen will show you that the BIOS update has started and when it starts it's going to show you your current BIOS version and it's going to show you the BIOS version that you are upgrading or updating to. You're going to want to select continue BIOS update in order to proceed. Now do note that your system may take a few minutes before it allows you the opportunity to select the continue button. Do not worry, this delay is normal, uh, it's just part of the process. Your system is updating the BIOS so it will take a few minutes in the background for everything to get done. And if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers, we do Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. We'd love the opportunity to earn your home lab or your data center's business. We also do new and we do use. Please email us at sales at cloudinners.com. That's sales at cloudinners.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys.